Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, welcome back, should I say, or I don't know. To all 24 of you here, um, or whoever's watching this, um, thanks for coming. I have been in kind of a rut <laughs> these past five months. And I guess it would be, suffice it to say, I've not been well. I'd like to try to say that I've been on a self-discovery kick, but I don't really... The more I discover about myself, the more lost I feel and I feel like I've learned a lot about myself and therefore I don't know who I am. I know who I am and that's what depresses me I guess. I wish I were someone else or something different and I've come to realize that that power to be the person I know I can be and that I see myself as I contain within me. And yet I just can't muster up the wherewithal to put into action any of that. And so that causes me distress, anguish, dejection, all those fancy synonyms for the same thing. And yeah, that's kind of how I feel. And I know you didn't want to, I know you guys, you may not be interested in hearing about this and that's fine. I'm really just recording this for my own sake. Um, on this channel, I, I mean, obviously I haven't been really active, but I want to make this more of a video diary or myself. I'm not really concerned about anything else because it has become apparent that I don't want to say there's nothing I can do, but it's become apparent that I have it's become apparent that I need to just do what I am going to do and just do me and go from there. So anyway, now that I got that off my chest, I kind of feel a little bit better. Where do I begin? Let me catch you guys up a little bit. So in February, I decided to embark on travel nursing and I didn't really go that far. All I did was move out of my apartment, move halfway across the state and I didn't realize that nursing, inpatient nursing, is not for me. <laughs> and it's kind of a shame because I went through so much school and so much turmoil to be where I am right now. And, you know, I feel like it wasn't like this before COVID. I graduated Febu oh, I graduated December of 2019 and started working February of 2020. And that one month between February and March was honestly not bad. I mean, I was on the night shift as a new grad and that had its own challenges, but before the pandemic, it was, you know, honest but modest work. And once the pandemic ensued, I, uh, the hospital just became one of angst and stress and just the general public. I'm sure every profession has this going on, this kind of weird where everybody's on edge, anxious, you know, everybody's, long story short, it just became this transactional experience, just this very customer service and I just felt really unappreciated um, 
the healthcare profession really went into the limelight and you would think that that would cause the general public to have more awareness of the stresses and horrors that healthcare professionals... You, sorry, I, I got disconnected. <laughs> you would think that with COVID and the display of the nurses and healthcare professionals in the media would cause the general public to be more aware and maybe perhaps sympathetic at minimum. But instead, I felt people were now aware that it is our job to bend over backwards for you. And it is our job to, you know, we're under you. And when a person is in the hospital, they, we are your slave. And it is an expectation that we bend to your every will and that really affected me emotionally, spiritually, physically. Nursing is physically difficult as it is. And I'm, go I'm done with the soapbox. Long story short, I have left nursing. Um, I left it in May. Um, I decided to take a break for the summer. I only did one contract of nursing and that absolutely killed me. Um, I discovered that as a nurse, we are I felt personally that I was nothing more than a tool, just another body. I felt like a slave, that's the best way to put it. Yes, I was getting paid and I know that that's kind of a hasty thing to say. I was getting paid and it wasn't terrible. I was doing travel nursing and, and enabled me to have the summer off, albeit not very comfortably because I only did one contract, but regardless, I could always have all these cup half full analogies and maxims and talk about how it could be worse and it could be, but that doesn't mean that my feelings aren't valid and that they're not sufficient or adequate. Um, you know, I started this journey because I wanted to help people. I really love science and the human body and understanding it and healing it. And I wanted to feel like I mattered. Um, but when, you know, I'm done talking about it. Anyway, so I think it is an appropriate time to talk about how I am now out of inpatient nursing and embarking upon outpatient nursing, clinic nursing. I'm kind of anxious because I don't know how this is going to go for me. I don't necessarily want to, I don't necessarily want to be a part of this nine to five lifestyle, but the, you know, 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. lifestyle was not for me either. And so waking up at 5 a.m., getting home at 8 p.m., to just get home to shower and sleep and then do it all over again while you're getting ostracized and patronized and all the eyes just all day and then yeah, it's only for three days a week, but after that third day, you are so spiritually, physically, emotionally, soulfully exhausted that those four days off are spent recovering. It's like every day is a mental health day, and that's when I realized that this job was affecting me mentally. And I was already unwell before I became a nurse. Um, and be as a person who struggles with depression and barely feeling like living as it is and getting thrown into that kind of environment it really took a toll on my everything and so I felt like if I took the summer off and just recharged I can go back into it but no matter what I do I can't bring myself to do it I've had multiple job offers that I've turned down and <sighs> 
although I had something really good, I feel like I threw it all away. And now you would think, oh, that I left, everything's fine. Honestly, now I feel more like I've reached a rock bottom. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. But anyway, so I decided that I'm going to be doing clinic nursing and I'm going to see how this works out for me. Um, it may or may not work out and we'll see. But with that out of the way, I want this channel to kind of be dedicated to my art and just everything I find beautiful and I don't want it to be focused on nursing or what I do for a living, I guess, for now. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for listening to that. <laughs> yeah.